Hello, everybody. I'm going to answer a question that I get quite a bit, which is, are Freemasons, do they know that the Earth is flat? Are we told that the Earth is flat? How many Freemasons know that the Earth is flat? Written by Albert Pike. This book I was given after becoming a 32nd degree Mason, Freemason. Um, my interpretation of some symbolism, which will probably be in complete disagreement with a lot of Masons, but there are a lot of Masons that have zero idea what the symbolism even means in the first three degrees in the Blue Lodge. The three great lights in Masonry is the Holy Bible, square, and compasses. So the Holy Bible, square, and compasses represent the three great lights in Masonry. It is the most recognizable symbol for Masons. Okay, so Within Mason, the earth was a plain, fixed, immovable set upon pillars. This symbol was only introduced into Freemasonry in the late 18th century, and my opinion is that it is influenced by the Royal Society and their pursuit of astronomy. So this book starts off with making sure to mention the use of these two tools and how they're used and represented as far as earth and with heaven. And it clearly says, this square is an instrument adapted for plane surfaces only and therefore appropriate to geometry or measurement of the earth, which appears to be and was by the ancients supposed to be a plane. Letting us know again that these tools are used for the measurement of a plain, flat earthenry. Everything has multiple, multiple meanings. There are layers and layers to the symbolism and what it represents. And you can continue to peel those layers back and go deeper and deeper. And that is the continuing education of the, of the Mason. That is what, what, you know, to continuously search for light, for knowledge, so let's just see what is written in Morals and Dogma in the first chapter as it relates to the square. It says, the square is a right angle formed by two right lines. It is adapted only to a plane surface and belongs only to geometry, earth measurement, and trigonometry, which deals only with planes and with the earth, which the ancients supposed to be a plane. That's the Square is for plain measurement, okay? The ancients understood that not a globe earth, not a spherical earth, a plain earth. It's just since the influence of the Royal Society science in their perversion that we get this idol. And I think that the that the evidence and that the truth is right there in front of your face and it's always been there and so people have just allowed themselves to be brainwashed by the science by scientism into this image which is not our reality it is not what we perceive and it's not what we can actually measure why can't we measure curvature because it doesn't exist why are we giving a square to actually measure the plane? The Masonic compass is a compass and a square. The square can only be used on a flat line, which is the flat plane. The compass creates archways and circles, which represents the heavens, which then gives you the symbol of the Masonic royal arch. This is the true cosmology. The compass is also representing the black sun, the sun and the moon and Polaris. This is sacred geometry. The four symbols for the four elements. The earth symbol is a triangle and a line. The black sun, the sun and the moon and the line for the flat land.
This is the equator. This is the Tropic of Capricorn. This is the Tropic of Cancer. Summer is when the sun rotates inwards to the Tropic of Cancer. Then it will spiral outward to the Tropic of Capricorn to create winter and then repeat this spiral. The electromagnetic torus field of the Earth, the plane of inertia, is the planet Earther and the sun and the moon is rotating around the magnetic North Pole. The compass in the square also represents the sun, the moon, the black sun and Polaris.